I just wanted to make a video. I decided to pull out my parts P150. This is pretty much stripped of every part except for like this and this and some of the base parts. But um, I took the bolts out, as you can see. I got them right here. I took them out of the base here. I'll go ahead and pull this off. As you can see, this is the bearing and brake assembly of a P-150 uh, big gun. Um, this is the brake disc right here. Um, this is what it uses to slow down the gun when you adjust the brake and apply tension. Um, the way it works is there's a pad here on the base. And then on this, this actual elbow, what they call it, the elbow, there's another pad there. Now, this is the brake disc, basically. This is, I looked at this, this is pretty smooth. So, if it's on there like that, what happens is, this pad that's under here, see that pad right there? Kind of like a pad, what you find in the car. It's similar to what you find in the car, not really, but. And then you got this part here. Now when you attach the this, this to the um, base there, now I kind of got it attached, just loosely attached, but this is the brake adjustment right here. What this does is you tighten this nut, and the spring pushes down on this, which pushes down on the pad that's right underneath here. It pushes on that brake disc, and the system, what it does is that when it pushes it, it adds tension so this gun would actually turn slower when going forward or, well, going forward and reverse, actually. Um, you'd set it to prevent coasting um, if the gun would uh, was on an angle or kind of like on a sloped terrain. That's so that when the gun's rotating, if it come up to that slope, it wouldn't... Um, you know, get stuck in one area because of the the gravity is pushing down on the gun or making it stay. So basically what you do is take this bolt here and tighten it. And that would add tension so the gun would actually turn slower. So I mean, during reverse especially that's important so you don't end up flipping the cards or, you know, putting any unnecessary stress on it. But I had just taken this apart the other night show you this inside see there's that one brake pad there and then like I said under the, the part here those just push down basically and add tension so the gun can move and irrigate in the area without turning too fast if you had the brake adjusted on this real tight it would turn really slow but that is this is also under this is also the bearing um, this part, I don't think it can be moved out unless you had a press of the right tools to push the, to press the bearing out. So, but this is the brake disc. That's now these do tend to get wore out over time, and don't get me wrong. Um, after a lot of usage, these can wear out. Um, back in the day, I think you can get um, kits to probably rebuild the brake by building these um, pads here. You can probably have this either resurfaced or you could just replace this disc here. But I do believe these are probably made about the same material that's on a car. I mean, similar, I'm not exactly sure if it's really, really the same, but this gun had been sitting over at the dealer. I decided to get it, try to make it work. But I had found out that it actually needed a lot more work than what I was wanting to get into. So this was parts, this whole gun here was parts for my um, other one, which is in the closet over here. So, this is what the bottom of it, the bearing, looks like. Usually there's grease packed in there to make sure that the bearing doesn't seize up after a while. But usually there is a, those three, see those three holes there, there's a um, flange or NPT mount you can get for this that would allow you to mount it to a pipe or a traveler. Travelers, usually, cards are usually flange, so they usually screw in with bolts. But... Yeah, this part I cannot remove unless I got like a press, a bearing press, or if I had the correct tools to do it. I'm pretty sure that the dealers, when they rebuild, they probably have a press of some sort. 
But I just wanted to show what that was like. Anybody that was curious, I know that when I took this apart and I saw this and I saw how it worked, I thought it was pretty ingenious. Pretty ingenious. And usually, sometimes there can be dirt and stuff that can get on this brake disc and cause the gun to seize up a little bit. My working P150 has an issue that when after it reverses, it tends to uh, move really slow until I pass a certain point. I could probably take apart this take apart that and probably just see if there's any like dirt or dust or see what's going on it's possible that the brake disc on that might need to be rebuilt or maybe the pads i would have to take it apart and look but yeah that's pretty much what it looked like now what i want to do is get a parts p200 i want to tear the elbow off of it and i want to see what the brake system looks like on the 200 the only 200 I have is that one over there, but I'm not going to tear that apart because that's a working gun that was rebuilt after a while after I got it. So if I can ever come across someone who has a P200 that's broken, they can send me pictures of what it looks like with the with the base with the this elbow off the base here. I would like to see that. So, well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something. I know I certainly did when I took this apart like this. I learned actually, you know, like I had an idea of how it worked, but seeing it close up like this with it all taken apart and seeing all the parts, it, it really helps me learn on exactly how it actually works now. And I figure the more I mess with these parts guns, the more I'll learn and one day I may even be able to rebuild them myself. So that's actually a goal. So rebuilding for taking it to a shop somewhere is actually expensive. So thanks for watching.